Hey guys, uh, this is Alec here, and I'm just recording a quick tutorial on how to set up your podcast on the Breeze app so you can monetize it by letting people or listeners of your podcast stream you sats and boost sats to you. So a uh, little background, the Breeze app is a lightning wallet app, which on the onset may not sound very interesting. But um, it is becoming more of a lightning platform app, which is something that is kind of a, I'd say, recent development in the lightning space. Uh, lightning apps, um, while they're great, uh, and every, you know, developer of a lightning app or lightning wallet app uh, has their own, you know, flair and UX that they bring. Um, it's been cool to see that they're kind of starting to build this circular economy of uh, apps within their wallet app. So it's like a, it's becoming like a platform on to itself. Um, each wallet app is so that's very cool to see, and I'm very excited to kind of see where they go from here and what you know apps are built on top of Lightning in the next you know five to ten years. But uh, focusing on Breeze here, um, they recently added the ability to, uh, you know, stream podcasts inside of their app. So you, know, you can add your podcast to the app and then kind of uh, tying in Lightning, they have allowed people to um, monetize their podcast by streaming sats and boosting sats to their favorite content creators. So um, you can scroll down here and you'll see kind of the general um, features and also if you've ever used a uh, Bitcoin wallet or cryptocurrency wallet this shouldn't look unfamiliar to you um, just in general this app is pretty clean and simple so um, I don't think even you know a novice should shouldn't feel too intimidated by what's going on inside of the app and I'll kind of go into the app a little bit more later in this video um, and before we uh, get into the actual tutorial, uh, I got just one shameless plug. Um, so I've actually written a blog uh, on how to do this as well. So if you'd rather just read it and not watch the video, totally fine. I'll leave a link for this somewhere uh, for you to get to. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the bottom of the blog. Um, but in general, I talk a little bit more about streaming sats, the value for value content model, and why I think it's the future. So. If this is maybe something that interests you and, uh, you, like I said, you prefer reading, um, this is going to cover a little bit more than what I'm covering in the video. But um, I think it's interesting stuff and maybe it'll be something interesting to you. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you care to. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So first, you'll want to go ahead and navigate to podcastindex.org. This is where basically um, you want to find your podcast. And if you have a XML feed um, or excuse me, a RSS feed, you should probably be in the podcast index uh, already. So and that's without you doing anything. So um, let's go ahead and just look up an example podcast. Millionaire Mindsets. Shout out to the folks running the Millionaire Mindsets podcast, Deanna and Xavier. They do a great job. And essentially what we are going to focus on is right below the podcast description. So you can see there are three icons. There's that little globe icon. Then there's a little icon that looks kind of like a Wi-Fi icon, which is your RSS feed. And then there's the lightning bolt icon. Um, the globe is just basically where your podcast is hosted. So for them, I believe it's Anchor. Yeah, here's Anchor. And then uh, if we go back, you'll see the RSS feed, which, um, you know, unless you're a nerd, you don't really know what this is, but very crucial for having your podcast distributed widely. Uh, and then the lightning bolt icon, which will link you out to um, podcasterwallet.com. So here you can see um, it gave us a little heads up that um, if you're using Anchor or SoundCloud, um, there are hidden emails that are uh, generated in your 
uh, or RSS feed by default. And what you'll want to do is actually make sure that you log into your account on either service and make sure that there's an actual email that you can reach and like log into because when you uh, set up set up your podcast your own podcaster wallet uh, it will give you a verification email similar to like when you log into any other service but basically they do that so that you can they can actually verify that you own the feed and you're not just going on you know podcaster wallet and just claiming random people's feeds and trying to monetize, and, you know, steal, uh, steal the Satoshis that people would otherwise be streaming to those podcasts. So, um, yeah, just make sure you do that. And just to kind of show you visually what, what that means. Um, if we look at the millionaire mindsets, RSS feed, you can see if I highlight this block here, uh, you see iTunes owner, basically there's a email here. Uh, from, you know, they're on Anchor, so there's some, you know, random Anchor email that's generated when they created their account. Uh, basically, they'll have to log into their Anchor account and put, like, an email that they can actually reach, and this that will update accordingly. So, um, yeah, make sure you do that, and then you should be golden to uh, move on to the next step. So, yeah, uh, this is, for instance, this is their Anchor feed. You Put in my at email.com and click next and you'll get that verification email. So after you do that, you'll want to log in and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So after you've verified your email and log in for the first time, this is what you should expect to see. Um, you'll be able to add your podcast if you haven't already. Um, and then you'll be able to put in the uh, what they call the pub key. So um, the pub key is essentially uh, your lightning, um, lightning node uh, public key hash. And this is you know, one that I run here um, basically so that we can get a gentleman of crypto up on Breeze. And this is you know, all totally self-hosted self -hosted by me. Um, so uh, if you don't own a lightning node or you're like, Alec, what the hell did you just say? I don't know what a lightning node is. Um, that's totally cool. You can have a third party host, uh, you know, host a lightning node for you, or you can holler at me and I can get you set up with a lightning node. So, um, I'll, I'll give you some contact details to reach out to me if there's something you're interested in. Um, but yeah, I would advise that you kind of do some research if you're not really sure about either option. Um, but yeah, this is what's really brilliant about this is that you can go totally self-hosted and monetize yourself and not have to worry about any third parties, which is, like I said, kind of building on those uh, great, fundamental, great fundamentals of the Bitcoin blockchain. And uh, that's why I'm really excited about this type of stuff. So anyway, uh, getting back to the point, go ahead and put in your pub key here. And you should be uh, golden as far as popping up in the Breeze app. So we'll hit OK here because I'm not going to modify that. And uh, you'll see here this value block. Now, you don't actually, um, it, it says here, this below is your value block for each feed you have claimed. They have been added to your feeds at podcastindex.org for wider use. Within other apps, you will want to copy and paste XML below to your RSS feed if your hosting company allows that. Don't worry necessarily about this. Um, the real value here is that podcast or wallet does this for you. Um, they just mentioned this because, um, you know, it might in, in certain cases in the future, it might, uh, be best to, you know, actually add this, uh, value block as they call it to your XML feed, uh, manually. But, um, for the cases of this tutorial and getting up and running on breeze, you don't have to do this. They do this for you. So, um, and they do this for you by leveraging podcastindex.org. So, um, yeah, if you want to kind of maybe learn a little bit more about podcastindex.org, I would advise you to Google Adam Curry and, um, kind of look at the work that he's been doing. Uh, he's very instrumental in podcastindex.org. And um, yeah, he's doing great work. So shout out to Adam Curry. Um, like I mentioned, you can uh, also third party host um, to get your um, pub key in here. Voltage 
is the um, company that Breeze is recommending that you go with. You can see their cost right here, $17.99 a month. Um, and yeah, basically that will give you a, a pub key that you can place into um, this field here. And then that way you can go ahead and start streaming uh, sats or people can start streaming sats to you. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and transition to the Breeze app and I'll kind of give you a quick overview of that and you can kind of see what it looks like as well as uh, how to actually stream sats. All right, picking up where we left off, let's go ahead and dive into the Breeze app. A quick note on Breeze app for iOS, you have to, um, and they'll kind of explain this when you go to their website if you choose to download it, uh, you'll have to download an app called TestFlight, uh, which is the only place it's available currently, uh, just because they're kind of still developing this. You can see it's version 0.11, and uh, yeah, basically that's how they're deploying it currently, but in the future, it should be listed in the iOS app store. So um, at the time of this recording, though, that's how you have to get it if you're on iOS. So we'll dive into the app here. And I'm already uh, at the podcast, but let me kind of go back to what you might see. So, yeah, this is like the main page um, that you'll be landed on when you first open the app. Uh, you once again, if you've seen a crypto wallet app this shouldn't look all unfamiliar to you you have options to send receive and then also that option in the middle which you can scan barcodes with um, which are you know various invoices so you can send on-chain invoices as well as off-chain invoices um, and uh, <laughs> before I ramble too much on-chain is just um, you know a, a normal Bitcoin transaction off-chain would be a lightning transaction so those are two different things and uh, if you don't understand, you might want to do a little bit more research. But yeah, before I continue to ramble, um, let's do the task at hand and let's uh, send some Bitcoin to uh, the podcast. Uh, I got a couple, of, I have 200 sats on here, so uh, I got these on via one of my other wallet apps. Um, if you need to get sats on, you might want to look into something like Strike, S-T-R-I-K-E, or maybe bit refill those are a couple services that can get you uh, lightning um, send, send you funds via lightning uh, so yeah I just slid out from the left side and you can see there's some options here we're focused on podcasts and we're gonna look for the gentleman of crypto check that out we are on the front page so that's dope and we'll give it a refresh make sure we have the latest cool so here's um, uh, the latest podcast from them, you see, once again, like mo most podcast apps, you have options to go to show notes, you can mark it as played, you can delete the podcast, you can share it, uh, that's actually a new feature, which is pretty cool, um, and then you can you know download it or play it, which are these two main options up here towards the top, so I'm just going to hit play, and you'll see it'll start playing. Um, you won't be able to hear the audio. I think I have it all the way down, so no worries there. But once again, you have your normal, um, what you would expect in a podcast app. You see the episode, you see the cover art, um, you see your play pause button, you can skip back, skip forward, you can incre increase the speed if you are one of those people like me who likes to listen on uh, increased speed. Um, then you also have your short show notes. Um, the thing that might look unfamiliar is toward the bottom though, and you can see um, there is a boost button and then a sats per minute button. So that's kind of the, the cool thing and the innovation here. You can take the funds that are in your wallet and essentially um, give them to your content creators in a kind of novel way here. So you can stream sats per minute. So um, I'll pause here. You can go from zero, so that's listening free, uh, like any other podcast app, or you can go all the way up to 1K, I believe is the maximum per minute you can stream. <laughs> you see once I go up too high, they tell me I don't have enough funds to do that, so that's good UX. Um, and then once again for boost, you can see, uh, I think 100, yeah, 100 is the limit there, uh, but you can go all the way up to 50K boost which is just like you know if you've ever watched a live stream before you 
<clears throat> you might have seen people uh, like donate money um, or just like basically kind of send a donation live. So um, that's essentially like that, except for kind of tailored to this podcast medium. So uh, very cool stuff. And I'll show you an example here. So we'll boost 100 stats. Boom. So it gives a nice little animation. And we'll back out here and go back to the wallet. And you'll see. Okay. Uh, also, <laughs> make sure you back up your funds. Uh, don't be a de degenerate like me um, and not back up. But this is just for an example. And this is a very small amount. Um, so, yeah, you see it, it took uh, those funds. And one thing you'll notice is it's 98 sats instead of 100. So there is a routing fee, uh, basically, based on the path that was uh, routed from my wallet uh, through the Lightning Network to the node that um, is plugged into our podcaster wallet. There was a two sat Lightning fee, which is you know very negligible. Um, so that 98 sats will appear on the node that it, that it routed to. Um, and yeah. You just boosted your favorite podcast. So uh, very cool stuff. And that's really all I wanted to show. All right. So we've gone over how to find your podcast on podcastindex.org, as well as how to set your podcast up on the supplementary service, podcasterwallet.com. And then also kind of what the UX for Breeze looks like, which is one of a handful of apps that supports the podcasting 2.0 index, which is kind of what streaming stats in this value for value content model is built upon. So I hope um, you know the tutorial has been helpful and instructional, uh, instructional. And if you are looking for something maybe a little bit more comprehensive, uh, I'll direct you to my blog where I did a more detailed write up and kind of went over the value for value content model. And here you can see there's written instructions for how to get set up on Breeze, which is kind of what we've already gone over. But if you prefer to read it, uh, that's there for you. If you do still have questions, though, I would suggest you reach out to me on Twitter uh, or you can also email me and I'll be happy to respond and, you know, get you over any hiccups or humps that you might be encountering. And yeah, uh, I, once again, I just hope this was helpful to somebody and that somebody else takes advantage and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to sign off, y'all. So we're just going to leave it at that.